Well, hi. hi, Sam. I'm Marguerite Fair, a.k.a. Granny Tino, and you are... Ms. Felina Katz. Meow. A.k.a. Samantha Wagoner. And, uh, but, uh, so Felina, her cat, or pussy, whatever you want to call it, and wow. Granny Tino, we're reviewing movies. So, yeah, you're still in love with your cat. Okay. You'll have yeah, to be like that. She likes to be all over me. <laughs> I can see. One day you're going to have to show us your real cat when she, it's she or he is your real cat. Yeah, he's um, he's somewhere. He was here a minute ago and then he, he, he likes to listen to us and then he falls asleep. Yeah. Well, one day we've got to show Felina's real pussy to everybody. <laughs> He's too big to handle, though. I know. He'll take you down. I get that. <laughs> so I have no pets here today, but, oh, well, we have to make the announcement first, everybody. We're in Vegas today. As you can see, Sam and I are doing this from a nighttime in Vegas, and uh, I I won uh, something at, at one of the prize things, and uh, I understand Sam won $10,000 on Blackjack. So, and a rhino. Yeah, and a rhino. So she's going to take us out for uh, a big meal after the taping, and we'll have to stay up all night. So, yeah. yeah win, win Las Vegas. Yeah, so we are ne coming to you from Vegas. Ba 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 boom. Now, um, <clears throat> Felina, stop eating your pussy. We have Netflix movie reviews to do. And our first one today is Hello. My name is Doris, and the delightful and wonderful Sally Fields is in it, and I love her, but I want you to do your report first, and then I will respond to it and give you my words of nonsense. So tell <laughs> us what you have to say about that. Okay, well, hello, my name is Doris. That is a dramedy starring Sally Fields and Max Greenfield as John. Sally Field plays Doris. Doris is a bit of a shy cat lady whose mom has recently passed away and um, she took care of her for many years. Um, she inherited a very sweet cat though. Meow. Yeah. <laughs> she also lives with her, so she's a bit of a cat lady. Um, so uh, also she inherited a house full of junk and, um, you know, from hoarding. So it's a rather sad turn of events. <laughs> you were happy because there were cats in it. Yeah, but yes, the cats made it. It was a nice cat. So she meets John at work. He's the new art director. And uh, she run, runs into him the first time in the elevator and they're real close up and she's getting woo, hot flashes. Her plump. <laughs> so, uh, and after she finds out that she is working with him, she begins to have a major crush on him. And he's way younger than her, of course. <laughs> My mm -hmm. style. But he is lonely and new in town. And she is, is really lonely. So they become friends. And she begins to hang out with him, meets his group of friends, and has like a great time with them and begins to open up and enjoy herself um but things don't always work out the way you think it will so. no they don't it was really funny yeah so she learns um a bit of a tough lesson about that and i think sally field is amazing in this role she brings comedy sadness joy even some anger and shows quite a range in what she's doing. I so agree. Actually, all of the actors really were great. Like Tyne Daly was in it, and uh, Natasha Leone. Um, even they had smaller roles, but really, yeah. really good. So, it was a good cast. Yeah, it was fantastic, and I give it five. Wow! Woo! 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 We're gonna have to have some party music going for this. Lena Katz gave the Holy shit! <laughs> wow! I'm in this 
And you know, well, I, I think, well, let me just throw my stuff in here. And I, I agree with that. I loved it because I'm glad you liked it because it is listed as one of your least favorite genres, a romantic comedy of 2015. But it's a comedy drama film. And uh, Michael Show, Showalter, or Showalter, however you pronounce it, he is a good director. And uh, the way I, yeah, she's an older woman. She gets the hots for this uh, younger one. And and it was really delightful because Sally Fields is such a good actress. And she just was adorable. She actually was adorable. And um, I, the things that she did to capture his attention. And, and, you know, it's understandable because, hey, listen, younger people, you know, when we get to be a certain age, it doesn't mean we're dead. We do, some of us like younger men and find them attractive and still enjoy sex. And she really, it was understand. And he really liked her a lot because she was fun. He just wasn't, you know, it wasn't a romance meant to be, but it was a wonderful uh, credit to friendship. So I just really like that. And now um, she looks good. And I was, you know, you know, it was funny. I was ready to fall asleep when this popped on Netflix. And I was so glad I saw it. I was really happy it came on. And once I started watching it, I, I couldn't stop. So it was like going on one o'clock or 12 o'clock when I started. And when something can, I usually fall asleep to movies. And I couldn't do this. I loved her. So everybody, you have to see it. Now, I, I also, I'm giving this a five-finger review as well, one hand, five fingers, because it's a comedy drama. And like Sam said, it just reflects all the emotions. So, so that was really good. So we agree on that. So yay for us. Whoa. So now, okay, um, if you're a Sally fan, you've got to see that. So now we're going to go to the next one. And you know what that is, Samantha. I'm going to do this one. And this, everybody, is, this is a Netflix movie, Honeymoon with My Mother. <laughs> you know, I, another, the title captivated me because I figured, oh, it's going to be something really stupid. But you know what? It's a Spanish Netflix original movie. It is dubbed in English, though, so you're not going to miss any beats. Okay. And it's quirky, and it's a fun comedy starring Carmen Manchi, uh, Maria Carmen Quim, and uh, Jose Lewis stars in it. And this was another movie, Sam, that I found when I was ready to call it a night. And for some reason, again, this popped up into the feed. And so Carmen plays a sad, dumped man. That's her son. Carmen yeah. Uh, yeah, is her son. And he's been dumped. He was supposed to get married, and he had the hotel reservations already in this fantastic place they went to this for the, a prepaid honeymoon. So instead of canceling the trip, he decides to take his mother on it with him. So that's where that comes from. And, and, and I thought, oh, this is really going to be just dumb and kind of predictable. But it wasn't. And again, I always say that. I like when movies surprise me. The antics were, it was funny what was going on, witty dialogue, and situations that you just don't expect made this an enchanting comedy. And with a lesson learned that nobody saw coming at the onset of this experience. So mm -hmm. if you enjoy comedy, um, I would uh, give this one a four stars. I would highly suggest you see it because it it real it's it, it's adorable. It's like as a mother myself who have children that can't stand me. <laughs> I'm from Jersey, they just don't like me. Um, it, it was really captivating because uh, there were all kinds of emotions and things happening. So, so Sam, uh, share with us, what did you think of Honeymoon with my mother? Well, um, I agree that it was kind of cute. Um, it's a foreign film, uh, Spanish, I think. Um, he was left at the altar. That was uh, Jose Luis or something. Yeah. And, and his mother decides that she was would like a nice vacation <laughs> mm -hmm. so instead not being able to get a refund on the uh honeymoon trip because he was dumb 
um, they decide to go, but they have to pretend to be married in order to take advantage of this. So, so that, sorry, my eyes got sore from last night. <laughs> last night? Okay. <laughs> uh, we could talk about that later. Okay. <laughs> um, so the one thing that was great about it is that they were in a beautiful resort in the more Mauritius Island. And the scenery oh. is just amazing. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, um, it, it, you know, there was lots of wild shenanigans as they were forced to keep that secret that they weren't really married and pretend that they are. That However, made it even funnier. <laughs> and their relationship ended up becoming more open that way because the mother-son relationship yeah. was obviously not very good to begin with. Yeah, and like he said at one point, I just want to share this, he never looked at his mother as a real woman before. And that's the problem with children. They sometimes don't see their mother as a woman with feelings and desire. So this right. came out was nice. Especially a certain <laughs> little scene that she did. In yeah. Yeah, and he's going to have fun too. Yeah, I thought that was kind of weird because it was just so like, boom really fast and it just sort of was non sequitur and um, but um there was some very funny moments and um it, it jose just seemed to be really grumpy as his mom has the time of her life <laughs> and that really worked that there was a charming contrast to the yeah. um, difference of her upbeat personality yeah so it was enjoyable i didn't like it as much as Doris so I would give it a like free cattail okay yeah another one really worth seeing yeah um, and the the movies the Spanish movies like that that are coming out are really getting better and better and better I I do like them because uh, um, every culture has a different way of doing films but i think that more people are really uh, latching on to the hollywood type movies and getting more creative in their writing and their dialogue and it's uh, yeah i loved it that's yeah so yeah so that was good you know while we're here sam and we're really feeling good in vegas i just wanted to give a shout out to because i i know you watched it too um uh senior year with rebel wilson did you get to see that Yes, I do. <laughs> what did you think of it? Pretty interesting. Yeah. Uh, when you say pretty interesting, that means you're not thrilled. So let me talk about it. <laughs> I actually did kind of like it. You know, okay. just sort of in the beginning, it was like, eh, but, you know, it changed. So. Yeah. yeah. And I liked it because it's since she lost, since she got healthy, since she got smart and healthy, she hasn't been making movies. And let's face it, when you're a comedic actress, your physical look has a lot to do with the way people perceive you in your comedies. And I wondered how would she do, but she did great. Um, her comedy carries her through being healthier. Uh, and I really respect that she did that because, you know, they typecast you in Hollywood. And right away, even if a woman dares decide, they did that with... Um, that one show with Melissa McCarth, McC what's her name? Uh, yeah, she had a lot of problems just because she wanted to get healthier, which is absurd. So I'm so glad Rebel did not drop the ball. She did good. It was funny. I enjoyed it. I love the premise. It was a good story. So if you're looking for something fun, watch uh, se Senior Year with Rebel Wilson on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Um, it was a really cute comedy a rom it was kind of a rom-com yeah it was about a vapid teen who uh, thought that she wanted to be a really cool girl in high school and um she only wanted to hang out with the popular kids and be prom queen <laughs> so she has a fall during a, a cheerleading event and wouldn't you know she goes into a coma for 20 years. That was so funny. That's why I love that concept. <laughs> yeah, especially at the ending when they turned around and did the same move again and yeah. everybody was going, uh-oh. <laughs> it 
because if she falls this time, she's going to go for it. Yeah, but watch it to find out what happens. We don't want to give that away, but yeah. No. If, but, I, if I was rating that one, I'd give it at least a four. Yeah, yeah. How would you give it if you were rating it? I would probably give it a four, too. Yeah. Because I, I really started enjoying it more and more towards the, you know, ending and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and it's a little goofy, but Rebel Wilson really, like you said, she's really a good actress, and she pulls it off perfectly. Yeah. And with her snappy comebacks and all the the drama involved, I and love her. Yeah, she showed she had like a real feel for some of the drama yeah. too. You know, and again, yeah. that premise because the way that she can be silly and serious, a kind of mixture of it, mm -hmm. and you figure a forty-year-old woman who's really mentally a teenager is just to me so funny. I yeah, love that stuff. So you've got a <laughs> Yeah, and it's, it's amazing. So there's, okay, so we've talked to you guys about three movies and you might really want to see all three of them because they'll be worth it. So I guess, uh, Sam, we got to call it quits because uh, mm -hmm. we've got to go get that dinner. You want all that money and I expect you to take me out to dinner now. It's, and also a strip club. I've got, uh, I want you to give me at least uh, $50 in singles out of your winnings. I would do the same for you, but I lost. Um, <laughs> and uh, all I got is this stupid award and, you know, but you got all that money. So let's get our singles and go yeah. out after we eat. Okay. So put in the mail strippers, you know, you know yeah, what. You're good at that. You yeah. know how to do that. Mm, okay. <laughs> well, everybody, we're going to go. Goodbye to your kitty, and we're going to be celebrating with this great sparkling champagne that we have, and it's all good. So everybody, take care of your immune system, although I don't know how much of that we're going to do in Vegas. Okay. Bye, Sam. Bye, Paul.